So my girlfriend just got me this bungee chair for my birthday because I've been wanting it for the longest time. And I can't stop doing this. Hey, what's up everyone? Danny here. And in this video, I'm gonna go over a pretty basic yet hopefully helpful tutorial. One of the most common questions that I get anytime I upload any footage with gameplay in it is, what are you using for the on-screen display? And by that, they mean this, the system monitoring in the top left corner when I'm typically showing gameplay. This shows some pretty useful information in terms of how hard your system is working when you're gaming. It's a really good tool for determining what the bottleneck in your system is. Whatever is being worked the hardest is typically the bottleneck. Normally I just respond to this question with, I'm using Reva Tuner with MSI Afterburner. But after thinking about it for a while, I realized that this program is not the most intuitive thing in the world to use. It's not one of those programs that you can just go download, install, and then open it alongside your game and it will just work magically. It does take some setting up beforehand to get it to work. And I know this from firsthand experience because when I first started using it, uh, I had no idea how to get it to work and I had to resort to tutorials myself. So I'm going to be going over that in this video and if you already know how to do this then feel free to stick around and hang out and keep watching or if you don't have time uh, at least skip to the end of the video because I do have some pretty exciting updates and announcements. But for everybody else who wants to check it out, let's go! Alright, so first off let's get ourselves the program. So I usually get it bundled with MSI Afterburner. And you can actually use Reva Tuner with other programs like Hardware Info, but I've just always used it with Afterburner, so I'll show you how to do it that way. So I'll leave a link to this website in the description section below so you can get to it. But once you get to the website, you wanna go here to Downloads, and you're gonna get Afterburner, and we can just get the stable version. You can get the beta if you want, but I usually get the official release. So after it's download, let's open it up and install it so when you're installing it um, it's gonna ask you what components you want and you're gonna want both MSI Afterburner and Reva Tuner Statistics Server um, and then this should pop up and this is basically gonna install Reva Tuner so go through all that Alright, okay, so after you install that, you can close these out. So go ahead and open up MSI Afterburner and Reva Tuner after you installed them. So there's Afterburner. And Reva Tuner sometimes takes a while to start up because it's trying to connect with the server. If you don't see it in your taskbar right away, look around your clock where your system icons are, and it's usually in there, minimized. All right, so now it popped up and it says cannot establish connection with the update server and this almost always happens. So don't worry about it. Uh, it's a common problem that everyone has when they use this, but uh, yeah, just don't worry about it. So for this example, I'm going to use Overwatch um, to get it to work. So when you first start off, uh, for the most part, there's nothing really going on on the screen. So what you have to do is you're gonna go into MSI Afterburner and don't worry about these knobs. You can learn about these later. This is for if you want to overclock or kind of do some custom fan profiles for your GPU. But this has the hardware information for your graphics card already on here. Um, it's showing you what it's clocked at uh, and then if it's boosted as well as the memory clock and it has a temperature right here. But the annoying thing is that you know, when you're gaming, especially at full screen, you're not going to be able to see this unless you have a second monitor. It's going to be in the background, so you're not going to be able to see it. So that's where the on-screen display comes in. So you're going to go to MSI Afterburner, and you're going to go to Settings right here. And in Settings, you're going to go to Monitoring. So within here, you're going to see this long list and under Graph. So for what, whatever you want to show, you want to make sure this check mark is checked. So like here is frame rate off, but I have all of these checked and you want frame rate checked and then what's important is you go down here to show on screen display. So now under properties it says frame rate is in on screen display, OSD. So now if we go back to Overwatch and we click it, it should update. Come on, don't make me look bad Overwatch. <laughs> oh wait, uh, that's why. <laughs> so you have to click OK. 
And now I click OK, I click back over here, and there it is. There is the FPS for the game. <laughs> Ooh, I was about to freak out there for a second. So we're gonna do that with all the other things that we want to monitor. So we go back to monitoring and we go to, um, it's, you can actually monitor the temperature of each core for the CPU, but I usually just do this one, CPU temperature, not CPU one, two, three, or four. Just CPU temperature would just be the overall temperature and click show on screen display. Um, and I also like to know the CPU usage as well. And I like to see the RAM usage, GPU usage, and then the where is the temperature at? There's a temperature limit, but I'm not seeing where the temp is. Oh, there it is. It was right there. So show that on screen, and we click OK, and now we go back to here. Uh, it's kind of hard to see. Let me see if I can change the screen up. Okay. There we go. So there is your frames per second, your CPU temperature, the usage, how much RAM you're using, uh, your GPU temperature, and how much that's being used. And you can't close these, because if you do, it'll go away. I'll show you in a second, but um, on the Riva Tuner side, if you go back to here, uh, you can change the color of that. So if you go to on the display palette, you, let's say you wanna make it red, that will change it red. You can make it uh, yellow if you want. Um, I usually find that green or kind of like a brightish pink stands out the most and makes it easier to read. But you can also change the size of it too. If you go to the slider here at on-screen display zoom, if you change that, it'll make it huge. Um, <laughs> so we'll bring it back to a different size. And then you can actually grab this and move it kind of wherever you want. Um, and you can put the coordinates down here in these two, but yeah, you don't have to have it on the left corner I usually just do because that's default. So for this to work, you cannot close these programs You have to minimize them. So I just minimize them both here and this is still showing But let me show you what happens if you close either one of them. So let's say you want to close afterburner. It goes away So let me bring it back up And there's the problem again, cannot establish connection with update server. But yeah, so don't close them when you're done messing with the settings, just minimize them. And um, that's about it. I just kind of wanted to show a really basic tutorial to how to get this set up. If you enjoyed this video, then it'd be awesome if you could hit that like button and that subscribe button if you haven't yet to show your support. But now onto the announcements. So for those of you who haven't seen it yet, I was featured as the guest on Tech by Matt's series called Built Specific, where I showcased the $170 budget build and was essentially interviewed by him. I'll leave a link to that video in the description section below. Please be sure to check it out, and then if you could, show him some love in the comment section and let him know that I sent you. And in terms of the next announcement, uh, it actually has to do with Matt as well as two other channels. I'm going to be collaborating in a group effort. It's going to be me, Tech by Matt. Toasty Bros and Ostox Hardware. If you watch all of our channels, you know we have common themes. Uh, it's gonna be tech and budget. So this video is gonna be my first collaboration video. I don't consider my entry onto Tech Source's Set of Wars uh, really a collaboration. It was more of me, you know, submitting a video and him featuring it. And for Matt's video, even though there's more back and forth on it, he was definitely the host and I was definitely the guest. So that's kind of more still of a feature video. But in this video, we're all gonna be equal parts in it and we're all gonna make content that's tailored specifically to you, the viewers. And for the last announcement, we are now at over 5,000 subscribers. So I just wanna give a big thank you to everyone watching, to everyone who subscribed, to everyone who's spreading the word through social media, letting the people they know about my channel. Thank you so much. Um, and if you remember a while back, I said that I was going to do a giveaway at 5,000 subscribers. So this is actually going to be what I'm going to be giving away. It's still boxed up, but um, before I give it away, I want to do a review on it. So I'm going to do an unboxing and a review of what's in this box. And then afterwards, I'm going to do a giveaway for it basically. Um, I'm not going to tell you what's in the box yet, you're going to have to wait, but if you want to take a guess, I'm curious to hear what you think uh, in the comment section below. But uh, yeah, I'm really excited to get this unboxed and reviewing it. I've just been really busy with work and all that stuff. 
uh, in real life. I have a friend's wedding coming up. I had a crap ton of overtime at work. I'm working even on weekends now and I'm trying to balance all that with my YouTube stuff as well as my real life because I have friends and a girlfriend and family that I also need to spend time with. So please bear with me. Uh, I know I take a while to get videos out, but thanks for staying with me along the whole way. Uh, that doesn't even make sense. And I think it's because I'm too tired from talking too much. So I'm gonna end the video right here. I'll see you all in the next one. Bye.